this video I will show you how to show images, image, image clues or hints to your players. Now let's do this by going back to the main screen. I will run the timer and once timer is running I can access image hint hints with this bottom right photo icon. If I press this the stripe of images will appear. At the moment we don't have uh, any, any of our custom images loaded. These are just some preview images. So if I click one, one of those preview images will appear. I close that by clicking anywhere on the screen or any button. And uh, now let's find out how to um, upload our own custom images to the timer. I go to our folder and uh, here this is our um, folder of the timer. I will go inside the custom folder and as you can see we have at the moment in the background we are at the default no theme timer so this is where we need to place our image. I will go inside this folder. I will go inside hints and here you can see we have we have this image hints um, which are just some preview images. Now we need to change these images with our own. The one thing you need to remember is to keep the same naming as you see it here. So for example uh, the first image is hint underscore zero one. The second image would be like hint underscore zero two and so on. And uh, 19 uh, hint underscore one nine four nineteen. Uh, here we have only 19 images just to show you how this works but you can use up to 90 images per team. So into every team you can place up to 90 of your custom images. Now let's try this out. I will open an another folder of mine where I have uh, some example images and I will choose two images at this moment. For example I will choose this one and I will choose this one and I will copy these two images inside our custom folder. Now um, I will replace the first image with our own. I will delete this one and will rename this one into hint underscore zero one and this image I will rename into hint underscore twenty. Now let's go back into the timer and into the settings. Now uh, remember if we want to load our new images we need to deselect this third function and select it again so the timer will load our new custom images. Now we go back to the main screen and I will run the timer and similar as before I can access images with this photo icon in the bottom right corner or I can also press the letter I on the keyboard and the image stripe will appear I as images. As you can see uh, hint number one is now changed with our new image. I'll press the image and as you can see this loaded our new custom image. I will close this image by clicking any key and uh, there is now one more thing that I want to show you and uh, that is the option to show images in full screen because maybe you will prefer that. Um, it can come handy if you have a smaller monitor and you want your images to be visible as possible if the monitor is too small. So let's try this. As you can see we have this option here full screen images. I will click it and this checkbox has appeared. Now let's go back to the timer. I will run it and now I will try another image. For example I will try number 20 and as you can see uh, it is now shown in full screen and the white border is still visible so you know you are looking at the hint. And this is how uh, you use the images. Now one more thing I would like to tell you is uh, you can also move through images with your keyboard by using left or right arrow so if I hold the key or I click I move through images and press enter to select one of those. And this is how you use the images. The only important thing you need to remember is to keep the proper file names because if this is not done correctly you will get an error message and your 
images will not work.